<coughs> Good morning, fellow traders, my students, my subscribers. I greet you all. My name is Samuel Okoye Ocha, Elder 12 Trader. I, today is Friday, the 26th day of February 2021. Let us do a wrap up of uh, the week. So far, so good. Our analysis is going above 90% of as we have forecasted in the past. So we are still good uh, in forecasting. This is a USD card. You can see, uh, I told you the market will turn from here towards this place. It happened and it went a bit further than that place. But what surprises me is this very move. I, so I, 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 I'm of the opinion that we will have a, a retracement like this and continue going there. But you can see this is very sharp and strong. So it means that we can have some retracement, maybe continue going up unless we have another reversal, maybe a candle like this. If those such doesn't happen, we may not even come down here again. This price, move, this price move is very strong. So it's an indication that we may continue to go up from here. But remember, similar thing has happened in the past, yet it, it, it turned back again. So we keep watching. Why am I saying this? Don't enter sell from here. It's risky to enter sell from here because of this price movement. So for now, if you, if you are not in the buy on USD card, you can wait. By next week, we know the next thing to do about it. This price move, I don't expect it. I expect, it, I expect it to, some correction around the here, then another move. But for now, we keep watching to know whether we can still have the sell or not. Okay, let's move to the next pair. <coughs> the next pair is Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I told you that Bitcoin will turn on this blue box and the turn is that on the blue box i told you we're gonna have price come down here hopefully it's coming down here so not too much to say about bitcoin then if you are buying bitcoin be careful you better sell and take the profit around here and then prepare for buy Bitcoin will still buy but for now not so soon pounds usd Pounds USD, you know, when I yesterday when I was uh, talking about Pounds USD, remember I told you something about this line. That if the, the, the market can come as low as this line, you can see it didn't end in the blue box. It moved beyond the blue box and come down to this very level. So for this reason, this count is not uh, in no longer the way i think it, it will be so for now by during the weekend i will make a, a, a better comprehensive analysis on on that the only thing i will tell you now is that you look for sell don't look for buy now if you get a pullback you sell the, the selling will continue i i've been thinking that that the sell will come up when we go to this place, but it might delay. This will five might have ended here because of this very strong move. So the pullback we have been the question we have been looking for all this while has started to started to, to happen. So buyers it's not advisable to buy GBC USD now. You only look for sale. And the selling will likely be deep because this very price movement is, is a typical of one, two, three, four, five, which will be air. So on Sunday we talk more on it, but do not buy pounds USD. That is my advice for you now. And I, I, I'm not buy pounds USD. I would rather sell. I sold yesterday and took profit here. Okay, so. I'm only, I'm only looking for for uh, for sale, not to buy, because this move is sharp. Pounds yen. 
fancy yen similar thing fancy yen uh we may get a flag or alt operation then it comes down here it is also a buy a sorry a sell market not a buy pants are begin to do the correction we have expecting for a long time so be careful if you if you if you have if you long if you have long position you, you may consider closing them on pounds pays you know usd just as i told you when price was here remember this blue line yesterday video you will see it price was here and i i told you i'm expecting a down move which will make a double correction i explained it in details to my to my students so but i'm telling you the buying is more risky than selling so i'm selling and not buying you can trade according to your own uh, conviction but i can tell you buying is more risky for now the main trend is still going up but for now it will it will have a pullback you will likely have something like this again from here so be careful as you buy it's better to sell now than buy you know jpy you know jpy remember yesterday i told you we're gonna have either a pullback or correction it has started this is a we're gonna have b and c but remember the market is going up don't forget the market is going up it's going up to 135 on sunday i will show you weekly charts daily charts for you to see the reason why i said it, it is going to 135 but for now look for abc to complete before you continue to buy and if you are in my telegram group you will be seeing all these charts in pictures okay dxy this why this something like uh what uh usd card did though i expect the price to turn around this blue box but you see i thought i i thought it would go deeper but you can see this price movement shows that coming down here we delay so we may have another correction another buy before we eventually come down so the message is that as long as this top remains intact we, we can we will still have the price come down to this level but now we may have three waves move like a b c then we go down so sellers if you are selling my advice is that you close your trade and look for sorry if you have years of yeah if you are selling you can close your trade for now and wait for another opportunity to sell but i can see and i can see find an opportunity more at least for today by next week we will talk about it more i mean by, by weekend i will talk about it more AUDUSD. AUDUSD moved lower than I expected. Though it, it, it didn't enter the blue box, but just feed it to the blue box. And it, it turned back. And it turned back aggressively. This move is sharp. So what does that mean? Expect a deeper move. You may get flag or some correction from here. Then expect a, a bit another move down something like this is what i'm expecting this can say to be a maybe b will come around here then c will drop somewhere here so expect the price to come down to this level before we continue to buy remember the main trade is buy is buying but for now correction is what we are looking for there's the usjpy it's still going up but we i i i'm expecting a delay on it a delay that is we will have a flag or operation but once this line is broken once this line is broken watch for 107 108 and so on so what i'm saying is that for me selling is too risky unless you have a reason to sell myself i have no reason to sell so i can only buy i can only buy it now
uh, gold. What I told you on gold is what is happening on gold. Yeah, I told you we're gonna have. Let me remove this because it has triggered. I told you we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. For now, it's still playing the way we've tested it. We keep watching. If it changes, we know. But it seems I will be right on this ending the diagonal. So let's keep watching. What happens here? Whether we get this as three, then four and five, which is likely to happen. So good. If you are buying, be careful and wait. When is proper time to buy? This time is not proper time to buy good. Same as silver. Though silver is not in the list of the budget are we are we analyzed today. But gold and silver moves almost the same direction. Okay, New Zealand USD. The move here is very, very sharp. So for this reason, the correction will not be deep. Then watch out for this. So all these things I'm telling you may, may, not, may not happen today. It may be, may be, this may complete by Tuesday or Monday or even Wednesday. But what I'm telling you is that I'm looking for another drop, a similar to this one. So for buying, not now. And the, also you can see that the wave, fifth wave have completed. This let me, you can see, this is wave, wave four. The, the, by, uh, on Sunday or tomorrow, I will show you everything on the other chart. But this is wave four. And you can see this is wave five, it, it has completed. This can be one, two, three, four, five. Then this can be A, B, C. So you wait for since you are, since you uh you, you do not trade with A, the next uh, the next wave to trade is with C. Don't bother about trading with B. It's not advisable to trade with B because you may end up you may end up uh losing because it may it may develop in any shape so the question i went for web b to complete so that we sell web to web a i'm uh, sorry web c that's the way to trade wave analysis okay usd chef usd chef is still going up this very move is a uh, that's, I think that's what we forecasted yesterday or two days ago. You can see though it may go there, I don't see the way it is moving. I don't see it's going deeper unless it make it want to make three three waves, like three waves in this manner. Maybe something like this. Maybe something like this. So this is what I uh, the worst move is that we have we have three waves. But now it may just break this and I continue going. So the message is that we are going all the way to 0 0.93, at least 0 0.91, 0 0.92 before we go to 0 0.93. So. I'm looking for buy and buy alone. I have no reason to sell USDTF. Okay, I've got to the end of today's an, an, wrap up analysis. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, share our video, like our video. You, you can ask your questions. You also join our Telegram group. It's very, very important to join because you, you, you won't be watching video all the time, but all these things, we, we, we have them in pictures. Which you can, which you can save on your laptop or your phone, and uh, go to it from time to time as your guide. We also offer training. We train those who want to learn how to trade using Elliott Web, advanced method of Elliott Web analysis. You can join when you join our Telegram channel. Our Telegram channel is free. You only pay if you want to join students' channel class. That's when you will pay the two money. Okay, so I have come to the end of the video. Remember to trade with stop loss. Don't over trade. Trade in a uh, let let a loss let a, let their loss size be uh, according to your equity. 
not ever trade because you can aim, you can aim a big money and make it you can also aim a big money and you lose it the truth is that you can uh, raise one thousand dollars to three thousand in a week the truth also is that you can lose five thousand dollars in a day so avoid greed avoid greed nobody will teach you how to avoid the greed you teach yourself but we can teach you how to avoid the fear fear is that you see the market you should buy maybe you entered this market from here or here and when this happened you close your trade then it continues to go that is the fear it's normal in a human being but if you join our if, if, you, if you join our class we teach you how to overcome fear because we have known that this market is going up so whatever happens around here is immaterial just like this very thing now my my trade is open from here i didn't close it this even even if it keeps coming down to here i would close it because i know it will eventually go up so that's what we do when you when you have overcome fear fear can make you lose the trades you will gain and greed will make you to lose money so fear and greed is very very important that you know how to control them okay uh, that's all for today trade with care Bye.